everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a story about two very unusual friends. This book is called Hop Plop. Hop Plop. This is a story about elephant and mouse. They're really good friends. But look at how big elephant is and how little mouse is. When they try to play together, sometimes they have problems. Sometimes they go up and plop. We need to find out what happens when they go to the playground together. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Hop, plop. Written by Corey Rosen Schwartz and Tally Klein. Illustrated by Oliver Dunray. Mouse yawned. Ooh. Elephant yawned. Oh. Wow, what's wrong with them? I'm bored, said Mouse. Me too, sighed Elephant. I have an idea, said Mouse. Let's go to the playground. Great idea, cried Elephant, and off they go to find something to do, because they're very bored. Look, said Mouse, a seesaw, my favorite. Yeah, said Elephant, mine too. Let's get on. Hop, Mouse hopped on the seesaw. Plop, Elephant plopped on the other side. Boom, pop. Mouse went flying. Elephant was too heavy. Mouse climbed back on top. He waited and waited, but the seesaw didn't move. Oh, I must be too light, said Mouse. Hmm. Watermelons are heavy. Why don't I eat one? Brilliant idea, cried Elephant. He's going to try and make himself heavier by eating a watermelon. So they got a watermelon and crunch, slurp, scrunch, munch. He ate it all up for lunch. Burp. Oh, no. He ate all that watermelon and gave out a big burp. Then Mouse and Elephant got back on the seesaw. Skip, tip, zoom, zip. Mouse did a backward flip. Oh, no. Elephant's still too heavy. Something is wrong with these seesaws, said Mouse. Let's try the swings. They're my favorite. Yeah, said Elephant. Mine, too. They're going to try something new. Mouse jumped on. Swing, whiz, fling, dip. Get me down from this thing, hollers Mouse. Elephant pushed him, but he's too big and strong. Poor Mouse went flying again. You try, he said to Elephant. Maybe you'll have better luck. Plop, drop, crash, whop. Oh no, the swings were a total flop. Elephant's too heavy for the swing. Mouse is too light. Elephant's too heavy. Let's go on the whirly bird, said Mouse. It's my favorite. Yeah, said Elephant. Mine too. Uh-oh, Elephant's going to push. Push, whoosh, zing, smush. Mouse landed on his tush. Oh, he went flying again. Poor Mouse. He's having quite a day. That does it, muttered Mouse. I'm going home. Wait, wait. We haven't tried the slide yet, said Elephant. But nothing works. I think this playground is broken, said Mouse. He doesn't realize it's because he's so light and Elephant's so heavy. That's why nothing's working out, right? I have an idea, said Elephant. Here's a slide. Oh, Elephant's going to use his trunk so Mouse can slide down. Wow, Mouse said. He climbed up on Elephant and said, Yo! Slide, glide, what a ride! It worked, it worked! Mouse's friend beamed with pride. Now that was fun, Mouse said. Elephant, you are my favorite. 
Thanks, said Elephant. You're my favorite, too. Yay, they found a way to play together that worked. It's kind of hard when one friend is really big and one friend is really little. They went to the playground and they couldn't do the seesaw because the mouse kept going bump, plump, plump everywhere. But then they decided that they would just use each other. And then elephant became a slide for mouse. And mouse said, you know what? You're my favorite. And Elephant said, you're my favorite too. They are really good friends. It didn't matter how different they were. They found a way to have fun together. I love that because I love books about good friends. I hope you'll remember Hop and Plop tomorrow when you're on the playground with your friend because your friend might be a little different than you and maybe some of the things you want to do don't work out but keep working together and find a way to do something that you'll both love and you can both have fun at because that would make you a good friend. I hope you'll remember that if you're on the playground tomorrow. But tonight, I need my friends to hop and plop right into their bed. Get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow on the playground, remember to be kind, to be friendly, and to figure out a way that you and your friend can play together. And if the teacher's there and tells you to stop doing something because you might get hurt, hmm. Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.